a number of deaths reported annually, approximately 600,000 deaths, deaths reported annually because of malaria. So it has a tremendous effect on others, especially those with compromised immune systems, such as the elderly and young children who haven't developed a robust enough immune response to clear infection. The best strategy is, is to develop a vaccine against malaria. So we are all working together, all malaria researchers are working together to come up with a vaccine to just eradicate malaria uh, indefinitely. So I study the role of microRNAs in uh, regulating the host immune response during malaria infection. So we've discovered that if you deplete uh, mice of one specific microRNA, microRNA 451, which is usually uh, involved in regulating red cell function, we found that if you deplete it or lessen the amount of microRNA 451 in T cells, they have an increased proliferative response after mice are infected with malaria. So that was a pretty tremendous discovery. So it, this is a strategy often used in cancer, but it could be a, a similar model could be used for malaria infection. And essentially what happens is a host uh, T cells are removed uh, and then genetically modified externally, ex vivo. And once they're modified, they re they're reintroduced back into the host to target a specific pathogen or um, proliferative cell type, like in the case of cancer. But in our case, it would be to target malaria parasites. So what would happen is you would remove a host cells before they encounter malaria, inject them with uh, an inhibitor of microRNA 451, and re reintroduce those cells back into the host so they have a more robust response if they were to encounter uh, malaria parasite infection.